hi all welcome back so appian has recently released the 23.4 version which is the last version of uh, 2023 the last version is finally live and we will see like what are the new features that has came up with these versions okay so appian has a lot of features related to different uh, different objects in appian okay so we will try to see what are the different features of this one okay so we will try to start with going to our navigation so when you go to the navigation here you will see one more uh, site has been added that is data fabric analytics so what uh, what this data fabric analytics will do is that it will give like see it is a kind of self-service okay Appian is saying like you know like see here here the definition itself is written explore your data fabric using Appian self-service analytics it means that users can you don't have to configure them for the end users users can themselves come and see what all data are present with them for example see this is you know like showing like what are all the different uh, tables or records that I have okay and if I want uh, like you know like some records to see I have that all that feature you see 199 records are there or uh, in which how many rows are there everything you know like what all different tables are there I will be able to see it so if you see a view of uh, for example I'm opening view of customers so in that like see uh, if I select any particular ID I select name I select the tier phone number okay and I'm able to see all this thing at the uh, just uh, whatever the data is present in my database everything is visible to me and uh, we can also create a kind of column chart as well based on that okay so means uh, on demand like whatever you would want to do with your data that you can do it one more feature I guess you know like in my opinion would be like uh, you now the end users will also don't need to check your data model <laughs> they can directly come in any record and they can see like what data they have for a particular record okay so it will be very much you know like beneficial for them as well uh, for the end users like what they want what they don't want like this one see not only that they will be also you know like uh, able to add the filter like no I don't want to see all the data I just want to see uh, this data so I guess like uh, for them it might be a bit new for them for the end users as well but uh, see here I'm able to see the data of only three tier here so it is a kind of cell service across all the systems doesn't matter like where your data is sitting here okay across all the system your data will be visible so you just have to you know like uh, specify the source name or your database you want to see or your web service so I select a web service so all the web service are also available here so it doesn't matter like which uh, uh, part it is there all the uh, if I just want the database so all the database are also there with me okay so like this this self-service is there which is a nice feature added now for the next features we will move on to the interfaces part like what are the inter what are the changes in the interfaces have been done so see this is the new interface okay by by if you see any labels like any top any layout that has been added so no layout has been added okay or everything remains the same here okay what has been added and changed here is that see we can go in the drop down fields if you go in the drop down field it would look it would look you know like uh, same to you but it is a bit different from what if you go in the data you will see here data source is also there remember where we used to see this data source either we used to see the data source in a read only grid or anywhere else but here as well we are able to see the data source so what uh, how how it will getting used here is that we will try to see see let's try to you know like uh, check it the simple way just click on this record type so what will happen now is that uh, whenever we want to show any data to the users what would what we were doing uh, as of now till now is that uh, see here uh, let's say uh, let's say like this is our drop down what uh, what is our usual approach of doing the things for example is the drop down let's say you know like I just want to show some data here so how how it is a usual approach for example I'm trying to show you know like uh, some colors here for and the same number of labels as well I will write it here okay and let me just create an RI here so 
as of now what we what we were saying if some somebody selected green color then against the green color number two will get selected why because at green uh, the choice value is what two here if somebody selected blue then i just want you know, like the id color id three will get selected same thing can be done in the drop down here for example let's you know like uh, let's take the example of this drop down like how has the change impacted it go in the record type select your record for example i will select vof customer okay very known record to us we use a lot for our practice part so vof customer see automatically see in the choice levels what has given so what will happen is that you will have the choice level of acme corporation if you select this one then what will happen the okay let me create you know like another one for the customer id here another rule input so that and now let me just you know, like go here and map this value so what i will do here is i will write here let's say customers here and value will be R. so what will happen as of now if i select any customer against that customer a customer id automatically will get assigned that's how you know like this labels and choice value will you know like uh, used to work any customer you select against that customer what is the idpk it will get uh, uh, saved in the ri here that's what is happening so we don't have to query any data directly it will do and not only that if you go in the expression mode of this uh, data field see here the data field is what it accepts the a bank record data as well now the feature of you know like uh, the record data is that uh, see here i will i will try to do with record data here so in the record data what will happen is that uh, this is the record type that i want okay this is the record type that i want to do along with that i can also add filters in the data like what data to show what data not to show because this record data is also modified in the new version now it includes you know like the fields as well and the filters are are already there so let me add some filters here so for filters we will add some uh, logical expression as well okay query logical expression and the operator let's try to make it here and and the okay operator is there and the filters let's add to add it query filter is there the field over which we want to filter is vof customer dot id so what we want i don't want all the id let's say okay my uh, it should be only you know like let's say like less than equal to okay and the value is going to be what five so till five only i want the id here okay let me just click on test interface and let's see it this time see here only five data is added here see only five sixth id is not even showing so that is the advantage of this new a drop down fields a new feature has been there and not only the drop down fields the same thing has been applied for the radio buttons as well and the same thing you can do in the check boxes field as well everything is having you know, like the record type here for example this radio buttons are there we can go on the record type and similarly you can choose any other values as well if you select you know like vof customers customer only so see here vof customer view selected and all the name are in the you see here all the name are where in the radio button field same thing we can okay here in this as well everything can be done here see here vof customers let's try to select the customer part and that's it everything will now in the checkbox field so the drop down has changed like it using the filters okay the record data as well we can configure we don't have to query the data directly we also we can use it so this is a new feature that has been added now let's go and check uh, check the other feature that has been added the other feature that is added for the button part here okay so for the button a new feature has been added here let's just you know like let's for that one so what we will do here is that uh, initially let's try to see any buttons like how our initial button used to look like so if you go in the expression mode check the configuration for button if you will see you know like something like button widget 23 r3 will show okay it means that you know, like this particular function has been updated and it is on the older version that's why it used to show okay so the new change what has come here in the button is that initially you know, like uh, the button used to have only few fields 
see here uh, any button that is there style we can give it you know like what what are different styles we can give we can give primary secondary destructive and link but here the style part is changed there is no primary secondary and all these things are not present now okay so these what are actually is outline ghost link and solid if you want something like a uh, primary button you have to make the style as solid here see here solid so if you make it solid then it will become primary by default okay and uh, here uh, initially what happened that uh, after the style there is no option to add any colors to the buttons but now the color in the button can also be added and the color not only support this primary or you know like negative accent or secondary color it support the hex colors as well so it means that now the buttons will also have color here so any hex color let's try to you know, like uh, go in the hex color and let's try to add something like purple color here okay copy it and we will go here and paste it here great so now the, my button will look something like purple here <laughs> fine looking fine right so like this colors uh, buttons have been uh, added the color okay and uh, this solid is fine and what about this ghost and outline then what happen you know like if the background color is there then it will try to you know, like take uh, change the color based on that for background what and this card will have a background so somewhere this card is present and the same color I will try to apply in the card color one see here this style is there and I will uh, try to apply this one here see here this background color is coming here and now I will try to change the outline from solid okay to uh, let's say like something like ghost I will I want it so see here what happened the button itself is not you know like visible at all when it was see here when it was solid the button was visible the numbers and all things were visible but when we make it in the ghost then it you know like just submerge so something you know, like uh, when you will hover over then you will find button is there but when you don't hover then it will just submerge into the background colors like this one it is okay uh, and uh, I guess outline also works the same one same way as well here so here as well outline on ghost okay see in outline what happened that even the text what we written there that is also not visible that is also submerged if both are of the same color that is also submerged in the, with the background here okay and what happened with the ghost with the ghost what happened that it was showing this particular thing was showing but only the uh, text part was showing but if you write here solid then with solid here what happened that hmm see here solid then entire button is visible so like this you know like uh, uh, it's not a uh, any functionality so whoever is the UX designers they will find it more useful okay like uh, how to design better interfaces and choose a better color scheme and all so for them it is very useful for them okay so that was all for the part one guys okay we will continue this series in the part two as well okay so that's all for now thank you